This is actually where the apple trees start. Uh, these are trees that we grafted this past spring. And uh, if you'll look uh, in here, you can see the graft union uh, where they were grafted. And uh, they were saddle grafted. Um, and uh, we were checking out a couple of different rootstocks. And all of your apple trees are grafted to a rootstock. They don't come from seeds. Uh, if, you, if you plant the seeds from an apple, uh, you will not get an exact duplicate of that apple. You'll get a mutation. Uh, and planting and replanting seeds from uh, the same variety of apple will continue to give you more mutations and pretty soon it won't even be a, a recognizable variety anymore. So the only way to perpetuate a variety of apples is through grafting, which is cloning. Uh, so that you get the, the same peel, the same color, the same flesh, uh, the same flavor. Uh, and that's been going on for literally thousands of years. Uh, grafting pretty much started with the Chinese um, around 3000 BC. And today we've got over 7,000 different varieties of apples. So uh, to start a new tree, uh, you just simply go out to an existing uh, existing tree uh, that is fruiting real good and uh, this year's wood this year's growth will be next year's fruit uh, and that looks like a fruiting bud there and that looks like a fruiting bud um, and so uh, if you would to cut this right here this would then become a cyan uh, and then you would then take the cyan and graft it to an existing root stock like this and this is an existing root stock uh, and we'll take the growth off of that root stock uh, and then we'll graft it uh, via a saddle graft right here and uh, this is actually uh, a graft joint here and uh, we, we simply use electrical tape um, to tape our grafts together it holds up real good in weather uh, it stretches real well with the uh, tree as it's growing and as the graft is callousing off. And I've left a couple of these um, with tape on them um, so that I can actually demonstrate to folks when we're doing tours and that type of thing um, where the graft is and how the graft will callous off and harden off. It takes about six weeks for the graft to callous off. We typically will do our grafting in April, uh, early April. We'll cut the scions while they're still dormant. And there's your graft union, and there's the original, the original saddle graft. A saddle graft looks like a V, just like this. And then uh, when you cut the uh, um, the scion to the rootstock, they fit together. And the wood has to be tight, and it has to be cambium to cambium, which the, is the outer bark layer. Uh, and when those match up perfectly, typically your graft will take. So after you've grafted a tree, how long uh, will it take before uh, they start fruiting? Before it starts producing fruit. Uh, these could start producing fruit next year. Uh, now, noticing that these, that these G11 Jonago Reds seem to be quite vigorous, uh, I may let them produce fruit next year to slow down the growth of the tree. Uh, or uh, if the growth slows down on its own, uh, I'll wait till maybe the third year. Uh, it's better to wait until about the third year uh, under the new training systems. Uh, and under the new training systems like tall spindle, the trees can be planted this close together. And then we would train the branches to grow below the horizontal like this. And we bend them down using a biodegradable rubber band put the rubber band around the trunk and then around the branch and as these get bent down uh, it changes the hormonal structure of the branch so that it produces more fruiting buds than vegetative buds. Uh, so the more fruiting buds it produces the more fruit you'll get, the more vegetative buds it produces the more leaves you get and the less fruit. And so you want to strike a balance between the two. These will be ready to uh, be pruned up and uh, we'll probably cut these off. Uh, this will be your leader here. And then these will have to be staked. Uh, and then the next branches they produce will probably be the training branches. Um, 
but under the new tall spindle systems you can get four times the trees in the same location as you can under the older systems.